damages and personal injury and wrongful death cases are essentially what the law compensates somebody for their injury or for the wrongful death uh, of a loved one that's paid to an estate. Jurisdictions vary as to the amount or how they're calculated, but all damages boil down to essentially monetary and non-monetary damages. The monetary damages are probably the, the simpler of the two. The monetary damages are fairly objective. What are the hospital expenses, transportation expenses? If a holiday was canceled, how do you compensate for that uh, money spent for the holiday in a hotel? Money spent for airfare back to uh, the country of residence or their home uh, due to the injury and them having to cut their vacation short. Those kind of issues are all under the rubric of monetary damages. Now, mo non-monetary damages are a little more subjective. That is the pain and suffering to either the injured person for having to have a uh, scar or to live their life without a limb or whatever the injury might be, or to the estate for the wrongful death of the uh, decedent. There's also injuries that, or damages that can be recovered by a non-injured party. For example, the husband or wife of the injured or deceased party, or minor children especially are entitled to usually comp be compensated. And that's all the law can do. It gives a dollar value to the monetary and non-monetary damages and compensates in that respect. So we encourage you to, whatever your scenario is regarding uh, your personal injury or wrongful death case, to consult with an attorney, to explore our website, www.urbantier.com, and to learn more about this area of the law or this aspect of personal injury and wrongful death cases and see if we can be of assistance to you. Thank you.